I'm going to rely on other people to tell me how the audio is doing, because uh, I'm going to try to play this without headphones. So I'll, I'm going to keep track of the microphone tab just to make sure that it's not bleeding over too much. Uh, I might be a little bit quiet right now, I'm not sure. Uh, but my headphones broke. I have, I'd have to pull out some other ones that are a little bit uncomfortable. So we're going to do a new game here. I've never actually played the... I've played like three minutes of the game before because I've been waiting to stream it. So finally that is happening. I don't know if this is going to go up on YouTube. Uh, we'll see. I might put up the first episode and then see how people feel about it. But I really wanted to play the game, so I'm going to try to stream as much of the game as possible. The announcement of Breath of the Wild 2 got me really back to wanting to play it, or back to really wanting to play it. But I bought a Switch basically for this in December. And I wanted to buy a Switch when it came out, but money. Then I just decided <laughs> I'd waited long enough. Okay, so I, I know it's an option to switch the jump and cancel buttons, which I think I'm going to do. Control off, change jump button, and there we go. That feels like it'll make a lot more sense. No, this is in master mode. I haven't, I don't have any of the DLC right now. And I've never played the game before, so I can just absolutely garbage at it. That is a Sheikah Slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. I watched some playthroughs when it just started, like uh, Shady Penguins, who's actually streaming right now, and definitely better at the game than I will be, but still. Sears tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen the device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. I will have some idea what I'm doing. I'll be garbage at the mechanics. <laughs> So we're running from here straight to Hyrule Castle. We're not getting anything. We're not even going to have a stick. We're just going to go with this barrel. Maybe this barrel. Which barrel should we go? Oh, 
Never mind. Hold the Sheikah slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. Princess, can we play as you and Co-op in Breath of the Wild 2? I will be all over that if, uh... If that's a thing. Which I'm really hoping it is. Link. You are the light. Our light. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. Now go. Now go? Wow, that's rude. Got here. Hmm, I guess that's why for sprinting. So I guess I'll I'll reverse it. I shouldn't have doubted you, Breath of the Wild. Such a pretty game. It's not even that it's like a bunch of super high poly models or anything, it's just the overall aesthetic is... Actually, I have my, uh, my Wii U, and I'm kind of hoping that at some point I'll be able to play, like, Pikmin and even, uh, da -da -da, Twilight Princess and other Zelda games, other similar games. I love Pikmin so much. I will be equally all over that. Who could you be? Oh, I'm gonna take her apple. Hmm. <laughs> I don't believe that's my big apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Give me, I could not resist pulling your hand. Please help yourself. An apple and an open frame make for a succulent tree. But strange to see another soul in these parts. Uh, who are you? Hmm. Hey, I'll spare you my life story. An old fool who's lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Where are we? That's my link. Answering a question with a question, that is fair enough. I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. 
This is the Great Plateau, according to legend. This is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. This is a stick with a lantern on it. I shall use my uh, black temple there long ago at the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay, which is a different game that we're not advertising right now. Oh. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. Okay. <laughs> oh ho. Ho. Whoa. Whoa. Bro. A ho? Yo. No. What are you doing? Hmm. I'm relaxing by the fireside, of course, although I need to cook myself another baked apple at some point. Simple foods such as apples are fine to eat raw, but roasting them in a fire makes them tastier and more nutritious. I shall be here for some time. Please let me know if I may be of service. Alright. I mean, alright. I'm me. Uh, baked apple. Alien shroom. Eat it first. Okay, so you press X to hold that. Okay. And... Hold on. X to hold. And then... Oh, okay, then you... Uh, right. Okay, so that's, uh, I need a pot. Okay, it, okay, you can roast it without a pot. We're good. We're good. The others weren't cooked properly. So, hold. I apologize for watching me stumble through the learning process, but I'll get there eventually. There we go. Toasty. Not tasty. I said tasty. Link. Head for the point Looks marked like on the map eyes. in your Sheikah slate. Right. Follow it straight up there. There's now a stamp here. Which... Yes, this is a switch. Thank you. I guess we'll head straight on over. Eight Thanks months subbed and I still haven't switched it up. Yay puns. Huh. Oh, I guess I should, uh... Here. Puns are illegal. Thanks, Fiddy. If people want to keep arguing with subscriptions, I'm okay with that. Uh, Bacoplin Horn. Bacop! The severed horn of a Bacoplin, a creature often encountered in the plains of Hyrule. It isn't edible, but can be tossed into a stew with some critters to make an elixir. Okay, so one thing that I'm, I don't remember is if there's any weapons that can't break. I think even the Master Sword breaks, right? You have to, like, you can repair it, so it doesn't perma-break. I'm pretty sure it does break. Uh, 
Hyrule Herb. That sounds like really, really obvious slang for drugs. This healthy herb grows abundantly in the plains of Hyrule. Took it before, before eating to restore or increase the number of hearts to restore. Monster Rancher. Get out of here. Very quiet. Is there a crouch? I want to fight this many dudes. All right. Hey, hey, hey. You archer bastard. All right. Whoa. Hey, we got a shield. a two-hand sure, so. Taking your sword and I'm leaving. I do plan to get Sword and Shield. Just like we just got in the game. There we go. Get some, get some health back here. Alright. You messed with the wrong link. I'm not gonna wreck on Stark this. Upcoming one, Sword and Shield is in the Ambridge House. Can you release without releasing? Anyways. This home is now my home. the Sheikah Slate in the pedestal. Like a charging station at an airport. Please watch for falling rocks.
Pues está puesto. Pero aquí está el caso. Pero este no era importante. Distilling local information. Regional map extracted. Member. Member. Try. Try remember. to remember. Try to remember. You have been asleep for the past oh, 100 second. years. <laughs> the beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Hurry? Okay, so I'm gonna head straight there. Before it's too late. Do I have the no, I don't have the floaty thing. I can't just jump off the the tower. Right? I'm not gonna do it. Oh god. The the shield acts as your parachute thingy. Ow. It does nope. I had to press a button. Or not do that at all. So not listening to you guys anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the first Switch game I've played other than, uh, what's it called? Stardew Valley and Jackbox. My platforming skills are going to leave a lot to be designed. I need to get one of the pro controllers. Thing. My mind, it would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land one after another. It's almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly and silenced. You don't mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you went atop the tower? Or a voice. Hmm. Oh no, a voice, you say? Did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? 
Seem to have some work to do as far as earning your trust goes. I suppose that is understandable. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity in shrouding the castle. Hmm. That calamity, Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in it. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land one more time. It would appear the moment is fast approaching. Hmm. I must ask you, courageous one. You intend to make your way to the castle. I do. Now we're married. <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we were surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Oh. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Okay, this is what I was waiting for. Paraglider? <laughs> oh, piqued your interest, have I? He must have been watching. Yes, sir, I didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know. Hmm. Why not? I will happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. Hmm. Let's see now. But I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby. Huh. Um, let me show you something. See that structure there? One shining with a strange light. Begun glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. <laughs> I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. Fair exchange, I believe. Alright. I thought I was only swimming underwater that got me killed. But it all takes stamina and then you drown. Get to tap it. Basically, like a presto pass for all my uh, OC transpo or go go train friends out here. Access granted. Wow! Cool. Wow. kind of you Brady
You who set foot in the shrine, I am now. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer. Magnesis drop. We get the power. Oh, do I get the power for having completed it? Or do I get it here? Nothing like some distilled rune. There is a second uh, chest over there. I think I feel like I remember some of the some of the shrines having additional things you can use, but. Ancient machinery, it's made of an unknown material, and no matter how many times it's turned, its shreds never seem to show some. Where? Alright. You're my new best friend, Box. I guess you can't be my new best friend forever. You suck, Box, I hate you. Supposed to be the chosen one. He thought I'd die to it. Blessed with the sight of goddess Ilya, dedicated to helping those who seek to destroy Ganon. 
With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of God is highly, and allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Please accept this spirit orb. Green fucking magnet, how do they work? A symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. I... I guess I'll go and show that to the other dude. May the goddess smile upon you. Might have been a tre... a, a trest. A chest behind that. I should have checked. There's a few where it's like that. Oh! What did you call me? Seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. How did you know? <laughs> Clairvoyance. Or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it becomes even more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. Whichever, or however, that which was once hidden from view can be often crystal clear. <laughs> Perhaps that is not true for everyone. Oh, oh, oh. A how how. The appearance of those towers and the awakening of the shrine. Hmm. All connected to that Sheikah Slate you carry on your hip there. What do you mean? Oh. Quite some time since I've seen that Sheikah Slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of the wisdom saved the kingdom time and time again. Their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it said. It's interesting, however, to think that how something like that survived all this time hidden away in a shrine. Hmm. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. In this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. <laughs> Bring me the treasure from each of these shrines and I will give you my paralyzer. I need more now? Hmm. I said treasure, but I never said there would be only one treasure. If there's one treasure, for what's the difference for a young go-getter like yourself? Without feeling generous, I'll also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's hmm. best to survey the area by going around to a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Okay, I'll die on the way down. I'm going to teach you something else before you go. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah Slate. Hmm. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. A hey, fast travel. Hmm. Also, I heard some time ago, I do not actually know if it works as such. Uh, go kill some stuff or something, maybe, I don't know. Okay, that's a little bit in front of stuff, so I'm gonna move this. By this, I mean me down a bit. I'd rather do this with a paraglider. You'd think he'd realize it would make my life easier and he should just give it to me, but, you know. <laughs> I'm surprised you took so long to catch up with an old man like me. How did you... <laughs> oh, leave an old man his secrets? Now then, <sighs> I want you to join me up here so you can use this as a vantage point to search for shrines. Go with the scope on your Sheikah Slate, look through it, and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to mark on the map. Hmm. The pins on your map serve as a reference point for your travels. You stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. Got it. 
Go ahead and take a look if you feel inclined to do so. Very jumpy. Case. I mean, the towers are pretty easy to find on their own. Because it's a tower. Here's this other one. Probably over here. Well, I guess not. It's. Already facing most of the Great Plateau. There it is. Be able to? No, I'm not gonna be able to get there. I'll have to, or at least it won't be fast. I'm just gonna save and then stumble my way down again until I'm better at this game. green we want to go for? It is green we want. Butterfly. them avoid yeah sneak is that a thing Gross. Like it. I don't want to waste my arrows. Ah, 
Rabbi Shrine. Goodbye. What's our next power gonna be? Set foot in the shrine, I am Javaj. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Bomb trial. You're just a light. Remote bomb. Oh, you get the, uh, growing in the other one. I forget how they work. Remote bomb and... What's the difference between the two bombs, then? Standing right outside the edge of danger. Okay, so it's just the shape. It's not actually a functional thing, so it just doesn't roll. Yeah, I figured the previous radius side scene I'd be able to get away with that, but I couldn't. Oh, I remember this. Do I die if this hits me? Can you 
go. Technically, this won't roll. Checking behind, nothing. Okay, so I, I guess that's it. Let's just end. There's two out of four. Her resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess highly, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. Spirit orbs. No, Thanos, you bastard. 